guys, Jay here and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing kind of vlog style because this is way too easy to be just doing a whole tutorial for. So I'm just gonna do it like this so it pads out the video a little bit. Also, uh, air conditioner is on so you guys are gonna hear that. It is scorching hot in this room. So yeah, we're gonna do this. Um, I made this pattern. It's literally just a bent triangle. <laughs> I already had something cut out that had the right angle I needed. This back angle here. So I don't have to do that. Um, and I'm just going to trace this out onto the foam twice. I'm going to make a mirrored version of it and then I'm going to cut it out. So I'll do that and this. So now I don't need the pattern anymore. So I should probably explain what I'm doing. For KomoriCon 2018, myself, Atlas, and Hardy are going to be doing a group cosplay thing for that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Now I'm doing Rimuru and Atlas is doing Benny Maru where he's gonna need two horns and he's gonna make his own. And then Hardy was gonna be doing Ranga, which is that big wolf thing with the unicorn horn. He was trying to do a human version. So we tried to use fur and stuff and it didn't work out. So we weren't able to do anything with that. So he decided instead, why not just do a different character? And so is another character and he's an easy one to do. So he decided on that. Now I'm going to be making a line. This is our center line or as center as I can get it anyway. The way I was planning on doing this, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to try. This is scrap foam, so it doesn't matter. Like this is my leftover. So Soe's horn is kind of diamond shaped, like on his face. Let's see if I can do this here on his face. It's shaped like a diamond and then it goes up from there. So the base of it looks like kind of a sideways square or a diamond. So what I want to do is I want to cut out an angle and I want to see if that works first because this is a large angle right here. So I might not be doing this the way I wanted to, but let's find out. Yeah, that's something at least. That angle didn't go through all the way though. I'll have to recut that. So that looks pretty good actually. I can just round it off here a little bit and I don't have to go to the belt sander for that. So that actually is a good thing to know. Um, now I'm gonna do, hopefully I don't screw this part up. All right, that seemed to work. So. Get that off of there come on yeah that seemed to work pretty well actually this has got to be as flat as possible so it can sit on the face correctly that looks like it could work all right let me try something else real quick because this is all scrap so i might be able to do it where instead of this way which seems to be a little bit harder to cut out i might be able to do it the other way and glue these sides together because I'm gonna grind off the other side anyway, so that'll grind off all the texture on the back. So let me see about that too. So uh, always start at the top, the tip of the, the spike or whatever, if you're cutting these out, because that's the hardest and go at a really good deep angle. Yeah, that might actually be better. All right, I might, I might just stick with that. Let me do this side like this, oops. See if that works. That didn't work out like I planned it to, but it still looks like a horn, which is what I wanted. And then I could just put the two sides together and have no seam. So that helps actually. I might, I might do that instead. Yeah, let me get some more foam and do that instead. All right, another piece of foam. Now let's try this again. If I don't cut off the piece, I might be able to start at the bottom and go up and then come down from the top. Let me try that too. So these will be my next trial and error ones, unless it works. So let me try from here first. Yeah, that could be better. And let me go. I might actually have to take this off of here because I won't be able to dig in. Having a brand new blade should really help this. It also doesn't need to be pretty. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's so much better already. So I like that. So I'm gonna do that on this side now. Hopefully not screw it up. So it does look like doing it 
from the top second will help it from ripping into the rest of it. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's a little small at the top, but, oh, it looks like that can come off anyway. So now we have a horn, a whole horn. And now I'm gonna glue these together. So we're gonna take some contact cement. This is just a good way to smush it all around on it. So uh, since my air conditioner is on, I can hold these up to the air con That did not work. Uh, I can hold these up to the air conditioner. And uh, let me uh, redo this. That, that didn't work at all. Um, I can hold these up against the air conditioner to uh, help dry the, the glue faster. And I would do two sets of glue but I really don't think this is going to come apart. It doesn't have any strain on it, so I don't think there's going to be any problems. All right, got both pieces, and I'm going to put them up against the air conditioner to help them dry a little faster, and then we'll put them together. All right, they're pretty dry, so... Now, I would normally put something like a wire in here or something, but it seems to be pretty sturdy by itself, so I'm not going to do that. Just mush it together. And now I can go in it with the Dremel rotary tool and carve it all down to the right shape. So I'm going to, not with this marker, silver Sharpie shows up on the textured side, black doesn't. So Going to Sharpie as centered as possible. It's just a basic guideline. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to be probably putting this to music or something because this is loud as hell. So here we go. All right, that part's done as much as it's gonna get. Uh, it's very rough, but um, I can fix that with some hand sanding now. So I'm gonna grab some sandpaper for in my hand, cut a piece off of it, and then just go over it like this for a little while. All right, it is a lot better now. It's not perfectly smooth, but it's a lot smoother than it was. So I'm gonna do this now <laughs> so I can clean it off before I do any kind of painting. So to make things easier, I'm gonna paint over this paper here. That way, not only does it not get on my desk, but this is from the foam. This is the, the label for the foam. So what am I gonna use? Well, I'm glad you asked. That will be Mod Podge. Now, the re this is the reason I didn't put anything in it, like any type of core or something inside of it. This is a hard coat, so this will harden. And you know what? I should actually put something inside here really quick. I wish I had a stick or something that I could put in there, but I don't. So I guess I'll just use my scissors. Hold it like this so that I can do what I need to do with this. That way I'm not touching this while it's being painted on. So just dip the brush in and paint it on. This stuff just paints on, and it's kind of like painting on glue. Now, I've used this stuff in other tutorial videos before, so if you've seen other videos of mine, you may have seen me use this stuff. I've had this for years. I don't actually know if it's good anymore after a couple years, like if I'm supposed to throw it away after a certain amount of time, but I've had this since 2015, I think. I think this is the same Mod Podge that I use. No, this might not be the same one, but 
I think it is the same Mod Podge that I use on the Darui sword. So back when I did that commission, uh, that's also on the channel, on the playlist that this will be in. I'm pretty sure this is from then. So that's not really a good thing, but, and you know what? I can do the entire thing. Wow. Um, because I can set this up to where it's not touching anything. So that works. And I'm not going to do the bottom because the bottom I'm going to be gluing to a strap. That should be more than enough. And then I can just take like this straight edge here and just do that. And now it's leaning up by the scissors and not by the horn. So that should hold it just fine. Uh, just in case I might set something on the scissors too, but I can tape the scissors down actually. Boom. Scissors are taped down. There. Now it's not touching anything. The, the horn isn't. So I can let that dry and then I'll come back to it. And you just paint it whatever color you're going to paint it. I don't know 100% which color this needs to be because I have to look it up. And then I'm also kind of colorblind. So I'm going to ask Hardy exactly what he wants me to use. And then I'll use that. But this is basically how you make a horn. And if you want it to be more sturdy, when I glued it together, before that step, all you have to do is take the Dremel or something and make a cut or, you know, a channel of some kind and then put your wire in there in the shape that you want and then glue it together and then follow the same exact steps. So just real fast before I end the video, I painted it. So now it has this, like, I'm not exactly sure what this is from, but it feels like it's wicker or something. But, um, yeah. This is it painted. I didn't paint the underside because again, this is going to get glued to the band and then it's going to be against the head anyway. So it doesn't really matter. You can't see it. But yeah, this is the horn all painted. All I did was I just took some white spray paint that I had laying around and gave it a coat and called it good. Also, I should mention, I did sand the Mod Podge when it was dried. I put two coats of Mod Podge on the same way that you saw me do earlier. And then after that was dry, I went and sanded the entire thing down so it was a lot more smooth. So that should be it for this video. Um, just use whatever strapping you want. Uh, I would say elastic is probably the best, but make it something that will stay on your head. And then that's it, you're done.